pandemic, past the COVID-19 pandemic, we should see larger numbers at these physical events. Um, and I would like to see, when, when we see these com Irish companies come over, they will have a good experience. They will then talk to other Irish companies, which will also come over. Uh, last year, we were in, you know, Siftus in Beijing. Yep. We had five Irish companies there. Uh, they were all very positive towards that. We've also been involved in CIIE for a number of years. Okay. And we've had a very positive experience there as well. Um, so I, I think the more of these trade fairs happen, uh, the more opportunities for Irish companies uh, to promote their products. Not only really, in China, it's a many and uh, Thai company uh, interesting to uh, join. They live in China. And now, uh, cannot uh, in the offline, cannot go in uh, China. We have another way to uh, promote, to get to the China because we have the uh, online. The China market for you is absolutely a global market for us. Uh, and over the pandemic in the last 18 to 24 months, uh, China business has been very consistent. Uh, and it's actually in a lot of ways forced companies to, to rethink their operation strategy. L'Oreal has the great pleasure of taking part in the first CICPE event. It's a truly groundbreaking approach to unleashing the potential of the Chinese market. By tapping into Hainan's position at the crossroads of China's dynamic domestic and travel retail markets. The new upgraded duty-free consumption and free trade port policies in Hainan are driving a real boom in the growth of the beauty market, which is not just driven by consumers' aspiration, but also through disruptive innovation and new immersive experiences.